So you need to make a flexible belt with buckles and blender. Not a problem. To do this, shift A and create a curve. I like bezier, but you can use anything you're comfortable with. Then grab your belt mesh, and it can be whatever shape you want the main part of the belt to be. It doesn't have to be glorious, simple is fine. Add a curve modifier to your belt mesh, set the curve, and then adjust the axis until it lines up. And we'll move the curve modifier up here, and now we will add an array modifier. Move it to the top, and change type to fit to the curve. Set it to your curve, and change the relative offset so that it lines up nice and neat. For me, it's 0, 0, and 0.96. And we want to check merge, and I'm just going to set this to 0 0.07. Nine. And for the caps, you can set them to any mesh you want. Personally, I just like to use a basic belt tail and a belt head. Perfect. And from here, if you click the curve and go to edit mode, you control it like any other standard curve. You can move with G or R to rotate, press Alt to change the scale, Control T to twist. You can add new points by selecting two points, then right clicking and hitting subdivide. Or you can press E to extrude new points from the ends. And you can always click any point and right click to delete it. And this is a bit of a shameless plug, but it's really relevant to this video. I spent months doing nothing but making blender belt kits, where I just made a variety of heads and tails of all sorts of different types of belts, and I put them all together in one blender file. So if you don't have time, or you don't want to make your own belt meshes, you can just pick up mine from the art station shop. I'll link to it in the pinned comment, but yeah, it's not hard to make your own. It just takes a lot of time, so keep that in mind while you're working. But regardless, once you've got the head, the tail, the curve, and the base mesh for your belts, you're done.